Hello. 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 Welcome, Japan Alive. It's day two of our Matsumoto mini budget break. What are we doing today? Today we are going to see some things that I heard tell about. Let's rock and roll. We have come to the Matsumoto City Museum of Art. Really, really famous, and I really, really recommend you go. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to film inside. But if you get the chance, it's about a 20 minute walk away from Matsumoto Station. Definitely do it. Hey, I'm just about to go in. Maybe I can sneak a few snapshots. What do you think? Behind me is the image of Yayori Kusama. She is actually a famous artist here in Japan. Um, she actually checked herself into a mental health clinic because of all the images that she sees inside her head. She said it was for her own safety, but she can still produce great pieces of art. So that's good. So I just came out of the exhibition and I think that was bizarre. Bizarre but cool. It's amazing to think that someone like Kusama san could have all these hallucinations in her head and actually be able to remove them from her head and put them down onto artwork. That's amazing. There were Inside the exhibition, there were some points where you could actually take pictures. Now then, out of respect for Kusama-san, I'm not actually going to upload it to this vlog. However, I will put them on my Facebook page, so please go and like my Facebook page and check out those pictures. Seriously though, go and check out this exhibition. It's 410 yen and there's one room where you just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And that room is the light room. The room where you're only allowed to spend 30 seconds inside. And that light room is pretty awesome because it's almost like it's being inside her head. It's like an insight to what she thinks and she feels and she hallucinates. It's amazing. Now we've totally rocked out at the uh, Kusama exhibition in the Museum of Art. Let's go and check out some other things that I heard tell about. I have been looking very hard for some soba restaurants. Now then, Matsumoto is actually quite an old city, so there's a lot of things that are actually closed today, and it seems to be that a lot of soba restaurants are not open. I managed to find some soba. So we heard tell about the soba being amazing, but I heard about this place, Ishi Miso. So miso is a fermented soybean and here at Ishi Miso they take three years to ferment their soybeans and then they turn them into yummy and tasty treats and even have a miso restaurant. It's really popular. If you want to come here and go to the restaurant and eat miso for lunch, you have to book a dance. So I'm in a miso treat place right now. You can buy all sorts of things, but there's miso candy. Miso candy. So I picked up a piece of candy. Apparently this contains miso and peanuts. Let's try. That's really good. <laughs> I'm surprised. Sweet. Peanutty. That tastes good. Different types of miso paste. They will have different strengths. <laughs> miso cookies. Have a miso cookie. Sweet and salty. So nice. I am here in the soybean miso fermentation room. It's pretty cool and the smell is like super super pungent. You should smell it. It's amazing. Okay, so according to this, 
there is carbohydrate, protein and fat, five major nutrients, six major nutrients in this miso alone. Hmm. Do you like miso? So the process starts out with soybeans and then they make it down into kind of like this thing here and then they add like um, salt to it and then they ferment it in these barrels and then eventually it turns out either like a red bean paste or a, or a brown paste or the white paste it's very famous apparently you can get me some ice cream here I found it I found the miso ice cream. That's the miso ice cream. <laughs> Apparently, they do a soft cream as well. I haven't seen that yet. This place is pretty cool and it's free to look around. Just saw a lady eating the, the ice cream and she says it's yummy. So I just bought this for 500 yen. It's one year old fermented miso paste and I'm going to try that when we get back to Tokyo. They gave me cooking instructions. Well, Ishii miso was certainly very unique. It's very rare that you get to see something like that and then try little 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 treats that are made from miso. Unfortunately, the, the lunch had a lot of meat in it, so I, I didn't eat it because I am actually a vegetarian. But I do know you have to make a reservation in advance if you want to eat that lunch. And I think it cost just over a thousand yen, so it's quite expensive. But it's fresh miso, fresh food, great times. Matsumoto is a great place of old and new. There's so much to do here. Unfortunately, we don't have time to do it all. Uh-oh. But why don't you, Japanalites, get on down to that link down below and get on and check out that website and find out exactly what other things that you can do in Matsumoto. That's it for our mini budget break in Matsumoto. What did you think about that, Japanalites? Our budget remaining is down there. And it is time to get that bus home. Please let me know what you thought of this weekend's mini budget break. Was it fun? Please comment below. Information about where we went today is all in the description below. Once you've read all the information up about Matsumoto, please give this video a like, a share and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything else. Once you have subscribed to my channel, why not go over and like my Facebook page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my WordPress, and any of my other crazy websites that I work on. I beat my target for my bungee jump charity fundraising. Yay! Go me! Thank you to everyone who supported that. And next weekend, I will be making the jump. So tune in then. Until then, Japanalites, bye bye.